welcome viewers especially aqua lovers and aquaculturists also the students of aquaculture now i want to start a very interesting uh, discussion of this topic under the field of fisheries that is composite fish culture it is a very significant topic of fisheries sector this is a vast topic so i shall discuss this topic under different sessions this is session 1 in this session i shall discuss different aspects under some headings number 1 what is composite fish culture then why we take this culture technique under consideration next what would be the species composition of this culture technique and the last topic of this session would be different criteria for the selection of fish species to be taken in this culture system selection criteria first what is composite culture what is composite culture you take this word that is composite because in this fish culture system we can make different composition of fish species so it is called composite in this technique we can introduce different fish species not a single fish species multi species of fish different fish species mind that here i am discussing about the composite culture of freshwater fin fish freshwater fin fishes so the mixing up of different fish species fin fishes rather in a fish culture system we can call it composite fish culture now the second one why this culture system we should take under consideration with the help of this fish culture system we can introduce many species at a time in a same pond many fish species at a time at a time in the fish pond then we can utilize all the spaces all the habitats scientific terminology is niches all the niches of a pond so in this system we we can utilize all the habitats and niches of a pond that is every space every corner of a pond lastly by this system we can enhance our yield or fish production we can increase our production up to 12 metric ton per hectare per year so from the commercial point of view this fish culture technique is very important and significant now come to species composition that is what are the different fish species you will take scientifically in this culture system suppose this is a pond this is a pond and 
this pond has its water we can compartmentalize this pond rather pond water into three layers this is layer 1 this is layer 2 and this is layer 3 layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 this is upper layer this is upper layer this is middle layer and this is bottom layer again we can subdivide each layer into two halves or two compartments like this we can divide this layer into two compartment again this middle layer we can divide it into two compartment again the bottom layer we can also divide it into two compartment so how many spaces we can find here how many habitats we can find in this pond this is one this is two three four five and six we are getting six compartments in this pond and it should be kept in mind that we have to utilize all these compartments for the utilization of the natural resource to increase the production of fish. So, we can introduce at least six species, total six fin fish species in this composite fish culture system. What are these six species? What are the species? Number one, Katla. Number two, Rohu. Number three, Mriga. Number four, Silver Car. Number five, grass car. It is a car, car culture technique, grass car. And number six, common car. For the aquaculture students, I mentioned the scientific name of each species: Katla, 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 Rohu, Lebiorohita, Brigal, Serenus Brigala, Silver car. Hypothalamic kiss molytrix for grass car, tino, pharyngodon, idella or idella. And the last one for common car, cyprinus carpio car. And we have to keep or put these six species into these six compartments. We can keep this katla here, that is compartment one. Rohu. That is compartment 3, Brigal. That is compartment 5. Then Silver Car into this compartment 2, Silver Car. Grass Car mainly into this compartment 4, Grass Car. And Common Car into this compartment that is compartment number 6, Common Car. So, four, six species, six compartments generally remain in a pond. And from each compartment, each species can utilize its resource for its living. Now, you see that in the upper layer of the pond, two species dwell. Number one is Katla and number two is Silverka. Their food habits would be different. Katla, Katla feed on mainly zooplankton. But silver carp feed on mainly phytoplankton. Then, in the middle layer, two species 
are living main the main dweller the column dweller main common dweller is rohu it feeds on plankton plus decaying macro vegetation decay means which are going to be rotten or rotten macro vegetation decaying decay macro vegetation then grass cut what is its feeding habit though i am keeping it in the compartment 4 of the column the grass cut move to every compartments of this pond every spaces of this pond but when it goes to it then it goes to the area where the vegetation exists so the grass cart mainly feed on aquatic vegetation where aquatic vegetation is present grass cart will go there aquatic vegetation the fresh aquatic vegetation now at the bottom layer they are called bottom dweller in this compartment mrigel is present the mrigel feeds on filamentous algae filamentous algae you know this filamentous algae are grown in the pond bottom Brigel also feeds on rotten vegetation, rotten, which are already decomposed, rotten, rotten vegetation. And the last one is common plant. They are mainly bottom dweller, but they will take as it fit all items I mentioned here. So they are called. omnivore common carp is omnivore so considering the feeding habit we are finding here that every species has having the separate feeding habit every species having the separate feeding habit so no one species will compete to other or will fight against other for their feet so in this pond instead of despite the introduction of six species at a time there will be no fight there will be no competition regarding the food among these species so in this way we can select or we can make the proper species composition i want to mention one point that this composite fish culture it may be actually it is a polyculture so this polyculture system may be of different types one system may be the polyculture of imc imc means indian major carps they are our indigenous species carp imc are katla rohu and brigel so we can uh, culture by taking only the katla rohu and brigel so this is a polyculture system of imc another system may be polyculture of exotic carp ec exotic carp exotic carp means these are not indigenous these came from other countries to our country and this silver carp this grass carp and common carp they are generally of chinese strain bangkok strain 
all Indonesian strain. So generally, they came from China, Thailand, Indonesia. So they came from abroad. They came in our country and adopted with our environment, that is Indian environment. They loved our environment. They start breeding in our environment. And now they are propagated in Indian environment, that is throughout India. So now we can easily make culture of this species. So if the silver carp, grass carp and common carp are taken for consideration of polyculture, then it is called polyculture of exotic carps. Another system is very popular system that is polyculture of IMC and also exotic carp. That is all six species culture. Now I come to the last point that is how we can select these species for what qualities having this fish for which we are selecting these six species. Selection criteria. Selection I am discussing about it that is selection criteria. Selection criteria, selection criteria number one. All these species should be foster or they must have foster growth rate. Foster growth rate. That is, they can grow to the maximum size in a minimum time. In addition to the natural feed, they must have the capability to take supplementary feed, supplementary feed and artificial, artificial feed, artificial feed, because natural feed is not sufficient to make their growth faster. The must take the supplementary feed and artificial feed for their proper nutrition and their faster growth. These species must have good quality nutritive value, good quality nutritive value, nutritive value. They must have higher market demand. If we need if the people need this species, so definitely it can be cultured from the commercial point of view. So they must have high market demand. Then all these species should have higher survival rate so that it can survive for a long time higher survival higher survival rate and their seeds can be easily available if their seeds can be easily available so we can introduce these six species into this culture system So, the higher survival rate, all these features are very important to select any fish species to be introduced in this type of composite fish culture technique. And in my next session, I shall start different technological aspects that is or management that is pre-stocking management system, stocking management system and also post-stocking management system. So today our discussion is up to this. Wait for my next session regarding the cultural aspect. Thank you.